Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Weavers, Iron Smelters and Factory Owners Set 2. Question number 1. What is bandana? Option A. Printed sari. Option B. Printed scarf. Option C. Printed shirt. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option B. Printed scarf. The word bandana referred to any brightly colored printed scarf for the neck or head. Question number 2. Who are a garia? Option A. Person carrying cotton. Option B. Person carrying wood. Option C. Person carrying iron ore. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Person carrying iron ore. The group of men and women carrying basket loads of iron ores in regions of control India were called as Agariyas. Question number 3. What is the full form of Tisco and when was it set up? Option A. Technical Iron and Steel Company. Option B. Tata Iron and Steel Company. Option C. Tata Nagar Iron and Steel Company. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Tata Iron and Steel Company. The full form of Tisco is Tata Iron and Steel Company and it was set up in the year 1912. Question number 4. From where did Britain import raw materials for its cotton industries? Option A. India. Option B. Japan. Option C. America. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option A. India. Most of the raw material for the cotton industries was imported from India. Question number 5. Where was the patola weaving popular in India? Option A. Surat. Option B. Ahmedabad. Option C. Patna. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. Patola weave was popular in Surat, Ahmedabad and Patna in India. Question number 6. Who invented the spinning jenny? Option A. Richard Arkwright. Option B. James Hargreaves. Option C. James Thomas. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. James Hargreaves. In 1764, the spinning jenny was invented by James Hargreaves which increased the productivity of the traditional spindles. Question number 7. When was the steam engine invented? Option A. 1783. Option B. 1763. Option C. 1724. Option D. 1739. The correct answer is. Option A. 1783. The invention of the steam engine by Richard Arkwright in 1786 revolutionized cotton textile weaving. Question number 8. When was the spinning jenny invented? Option A. 1768. Option B. 1793. Option C. 1742. Option D. 1764. The correct answer is. Option D. 1764. In 1764, the spinning jenny was invented by James Hargreaves which increased the productivity of the traditional spindles. Question number 9. Who invented steam engine? Option A. James Hargreaves. Option B. James Thomas. Option C. Richard Arkwright. Option D. None of these.
The correct answer is Option C. Richard Arkwright, the invention of the steam engine by Richard Arkwright in 1786 revolutionized cotton textile weaving. Question number 10. Why was the sword of Tipu Sultan very popular? Option A. He died with his sword in his hand. Option B. He never lose any war. Option C. He sold his sword to British. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. He died with his sword in his hand. Tipu Sultan ruled Mysore till 1799. Fort 4 was with the British and died fighting with his sword in his hand. Tipu's legendary swords are now part of valuable collections in museums in England. Question number 11. Till when Tipu Sultan ruled Mysore? Option A. 1756. Option B. 1723. Option C. 1784. Option D. 1799. The correct answer is Option D. 1799. Tipu Sultan ruled Mysore till 1799. Fort 4 was with the British and died fighting with his sword in his hand. Tipu's legendary swords are now part of valuable collections in museums in England. Question number 12. Tipu Sultan's sword is made up of which metal? Option A. Wood. Option B. Woods. Option C. Glass. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Woods. Tipu Sultan sword came from a special type of high carbon steel called woods which was produced all over South India. Wood steel when made into swords produces a very sharp edge with a flowing water pattern. Question number 13. What do you mean by Calico Act? Option A. Banning of printed cotton textiles. Option B. Banning of imported food. Option C. Banning of jute. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Banning of printed cotton textiles. In 1720, the British government enacted a legislation banning the use of printed cotton textiles chins. In England, this act was known as the Calico Act. Question number 14. When did the craft of iron smelting in India decline? Option A. 18th century. Option B. 19th century. Option C. 20th century. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. 19th century. By the late 19th century. The craft of iron smelting was in decline. When the colonial government prevented people from entering the reserved forests it also affect the iron textile. Question number 15. In which year the Calico Act passed? Option A. 1752. Option B. 1763. Option C. 1748. Option D. 1720. The correct answer is Option D. 1720. In 1720, the British government enacted a legislation banning the use of printed cotton textiles chins. In England, this act was known as the Calico Act. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.